Hello, hello, and welcome. You're watching DS Tech Media. I am Jay, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Linux as the center of your podcast, YouTube, streamer, studio, etc., and so forth. And I'm going to be kind of showing you that from the basic level and also uh, the more advanced setup as well. So if that sounds interesting, please stick around. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, why might you choose to use Linux as the center of your studio? Well, if you're here watching this, maybe you already have a reason. And if not, one of the best use cases for Linux is with older hardware. Even on old hardware, you'll have the latest and greatest software with infinite updates. No one's going to cancel your updates. It's not like windows 8 or 7 going out of service you will almost always be able to run the latest and greatest version um, i am running a dell precision with a quad core intel i7 3520 and an amd fire pro m400 gpu i'm pretty sure it's over 12 years old so by no means new hardware although when this was brand new this was kind of a bitchin laptop in this case, I'm running Pop! OS, and for video, we are going to be using a Logitech C922 Pro. And for the audio, we've got a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 with an Audio-Technica AT2020. So nothing spectacular. And Linux audio can be kind of confusing if you're unaware. In the past, all of your Linux distros had ALSA and Pulse Audio as the two audio systems. And then if you were trying to do pro audio work, you would get Jack. Nowadays, everything's about Pipewire, and Pipewire is amazing because it completely replaces Jack and Pulse Audio. So here's Ocean Audio, and if we go into the back end to set the mixer, we see ALSA, Pulse Audio, and Jack. And I can select any of these and Pipewire will automatically work no matter which I select. So a few items of software that we're going to need for the more basic setup. QJack Control, our sound server daemon. It is going to allow us to do as many advanced connection configurations as we want. We'll be able to record simultaneously to multiple pieces of software and multiple files. The next one is the CAF plugin pack for Jack. And this isn't even a must-have. However, it's a must-have for me because when I'm using this laptop, the fans and all are pretty loud, so this comes in handy. Uh, I use it even when I'm not on the laptop, though. I run a gate compressor and envelope filter and then we've got simple screen recorder and this is a very simple screen recording utility so open up QJack control and here is the graph with all of my connections and then we'll open up CAFJack host and I'll open up my preset which has those three plugins. Now I all, all I have to do is go over to QJack, right click, go to session, recent, uh, new Jack Dell is my session configuration and this is basically gonna link all of the ins and outs for the calf jack host that I need. Here we have all of the connections for audio on the computer. The Scarlet interface is here. It's running out to the CAF Studio gear. It runs out to Simple Screen Recorder. It's also running out to the Scarlet so that I can monitor it in my headphones. And it's also running out to the built-in audio of the laptop. Everything else is here as well. C922 Pro Stream webcam also has a built-in mic. I can run that into simple screen recorder now and you can hear that doubled up let's say i open a video up and it has two outputs i can run them into the audio recorder as well and any software is going to have ins and outs that appear here if we open obs it'll also appear here if you've been doing 
audio for any amount of time, I'm sure you can appreciate the power that something like this gives you because you can double up and duplicate and make as complex of a signal path as you want. Now I have my audio set up the way I need it and Linux doesn't really require drivers to do any of this. One of the great things about it is it essentially includes all of the drivers in the kernel is one major benefit. So another good reason to use Linux is the features of the desktop and operating system itself. For many years now, Linux has had virtual desktops. I hit control super and then up or down and we get a new set of workspaces. And this is particularly useful if you're on a laptop. And you can also use it to just send the window down with the keyboard. Now you've got double your workspaces. So here I have two screens. We can go even further than that. So now we've got three sets. So this is where we started. This is our second set. And this would be our third set. And it's just that easy to move windows between them. Even like that if you're forced to work on a laptop and you've only got that one 15 inch screen you can set up workspaces as you need or little things like this we type equals and then we type 45 times 67 it does a calculator for us 3015 there is an literally an endless number of things we can do i have a plug-in to control my philips hue lights and that applies to over here. And we can also change them on the fly. And now for controlling the webcam. I'm going to be using GUVC View. And in the application center, it's called simple uvc viewer this is basically just the manual way of doing everything once again you don't really need a driver because a linux includes v4l2 which is video for linux 2. there we go and this app features a ton of controls for your camera for instance if we want to zoom in and then we can uh, both pan and zoom we have control over the exposure and the focus I can manually uh, set the focus adjust the contrast saturation it's gonna make it black and white if we want Turn the automatic white balance on and off. There's even an LED mode. So let's say you had a couple of these cameras set up and you were doing a multi-camera podcast. And if you had like a producer, they could set it to blink. Turn it off, turn it on, and that way the person knows which camera is looking at them. You could even increase the frequency to kind of get their attention. So you got little things like that. We got several output modes here and we can mirror, uh, we can invert, squirt lens, pow lens, bunch of goofy effects, particles, half mirror, blur, blur more. And so this is all kind of the basic way of doing things. Uh, we also have simple screen recorder. This will let us record our screen in a number of ways. We can record the entire screen. Uh, I have two screens here. So we can record screen one or two. Or we can record them together as one giant wide picture. We can select a window or a rectangle. We can even make it. Uh, follow the cursor so it'll record an area around the cursor as it moves between the two screens and there's the OpenGL way of doing things it's a little more complicated and I don't really generally mess with that and record video for Linux 2 device which would be the camera that I'm using here if we just wanted to capture the camera we could do that as well it's also possible to 
to stream with Simple Screen Recorder. However, I've personally never used it. You've got a ton of options for your video container, your video codec, and you can, you know, you can see the preview and everything. It's a very lightweight and very good program. I use it all the time alongside OBS. Speaking of OBS though, you can also use OBS with Linux and get a more advanced setup like this. And that's what I've done most of my videos with. However, I usually use OBS on the desktop and I record with the GoPro and just record audio in here normally, like the intros and stuff. But I'm in the process of making this a full-time studio, but I do need to set up a better laptop. With this, you have all of the benefits of OBS. You can set up complicated scenes and do whatever you want, basically. You know, including like an overlay like this, where um, I can show you all my audio connections, which right here we've got the CAF Studio gear. Everything's running into a single set of inputs on OBS. So, and there you have it, folks. Um, hopefully you learned something from this. I hope this video turned out all right. I did it kind of on the fly, to be honest with you. And the audio has been kind of a nightmare because of the sound from the laptop. I don't know that I'm still working out the kinks, but also please, if you like this video, hit the like button, share it with someone who might find it useful and if you're a real G hit the subscribe because that makes everything uh, well worth it I've got plenty of videos in the pipeline uh, next I'm going to show you one about remote controlling two computers and I don't promote it enough but you can find me on lots of platforms aside from YouTube and I might have them linked in the video I'm not sure maybe not because YouTube's kind of weird about that or something. I don't, I don't really remember. Uh, once again, I'm Jay, and I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.